We're with head coach Larry Subberg for the baseball team leaves for Fordham this weekend. Another three game set on the road. Coach second straight weekend, three game set, conference on the road. Uh, last weekend it was Richmond, this weekend you're at Fordham. Uh, start with last weekend, two games, uh, last two games of the series. Eddie Gray pitches a big, great first game. And then Saturday, Sunday, you have leads in the eighth and ninth innings, and you can't come away with a victory. But you're right there. Um, your thoughts on where you're at right now? Well, we got three guys back last weekend. Uh, we got Jordan Crane back, who went. Uh, I think four and two-thirds innings, gave up two runs. We got Cale Johnson back who went two innings. Uh, he got a cortisone shot on Monday. He pitched two shutout innings. And we got Austin Ingram back at first who was still probably only about 75-80%, uh, but he chipped in with a couple hits too. So getting uh, two of your best arms and one of your best hitters back certainly made us more competitive. Uh, but uh, you can't be happy uh, going 0-3, even though uh, all three of them were very tight ball games, and in two of them we uh, had leads going into the eighth and the ninth inning and couldn't hold them. So uh, when you had an opportunity to leave uh, your first weekend on the road at a fully scholarship Southern school and come out of there 2-1 and one, and you come out 0-3, you certainly can't be pleased with it. But uh, we got healthy, so we uh, did get a little better. You mentioned Jordan Crane uh, now into the starting lineup based on his pitching, second best ERA in the staff right now, and by virtue of a couple other guys going down. But he's earned his way in there. Um, what do you expect out of him this weekend? Well, we'll increase his pitch count a little bit. Uh, we took him out on uh, uh, Sunday in the game. He pitched, I think, around 79 pitches uh, because he had been down with a knee injury for two weeks since Marshall. Uh, we'll try to increase his pitch count to 95, 100, so that maybe he can get us into the sixth inning or so, maybe even the seventh. Uh, but he's had very good stuff all year. Uh, he's been our hardest thrower. I mean, he's uh, uh 87 to 92 guy that uh, uh, when he pounds his own, which he's been doing this year, he can be pretty effective. So we'll try to uh, increase his pitch count this week. Uh, you always say you, you get swept, you need to sweep somebody. This Fordham club, uh, starting pitching, looking at it last weekend, three starting pitchers all went complete games how rare is that to see in today's game well it's very rare I mean one of the things you always try to do in college baseball is the uh, first time through a lineup have some deep counts and have some good at bats so you can get a starting pitcher out of there in the seventh inning or so uh, for them to have three guys go the distance uh, is very impressive uh, and they'll be uh, uh, also because it's at Fordham Fordham's a very difficult place to score they have a ton of rubber in their field turf field because they also play football on it so it's a slow infield and a slow outfield it's tough to get a ball through the infield or a double in the gaps and uh, even though the bats are different this year and that makes it tougher yet to hit home runs this is a very deep ballpark so it's a tough place to hit home runs even before they change the bats so uh, their pitching uh, will certainly be something that's a concern for us if there's a positive to it they are right-handers and uh, uh, we've struggled a little more against left-handers this year, so uh, facing three right-handers is at least a positive. All right, thanks a lot, Coach. Good luck.